today on Jurgen's Journey, we're going to the Bandit's Roost Campground, which is a Corps of Engineers park in Wilkes County, North Carolina. It is on the beautiful Kerr Scott Reservoir. Hi, this is Jurgen with Jurgen's Journeys. Today it's uh, very sunny and very warm, but a beautiful day uh, to camp here at the lake. So in, uh, uh, in this segment, I want to uh, show you around the campground a little bit, maybe show you the lake and uh, uh, show you some of the campsites. Uh, certainly one of the nicest parks in our area here in North Carolina. Okay, now I'm camped down here on the left. We're gonna drive right by. I think Rotten Bear is taking a nap in his tent. Yeah, that's his tent. He's got a fan going and everything. All right, now this is, uh, we're in the A loop now. We started with number 70 where we're camped and go down in, in number. I'm gonna take right here and swing down to the lake. On the left, I mean, on the right, there's a beautiful little site right next to the cemetery, if that doesn't bother you. Very private, very deep. You can put any kind of rig in there. Very cool because it's under the trees. And now we're going down this hill, and on the right are numerous large, long, deep campsites. Uh, you'll find a lot of fifth wheels, people that come together. Like, if you got two fifth wheels, they can park side by side there. Great place. Now, straight ahead is one of our favorite spots. It's all nice and level. and right overlooking the lake and uh, that's number uh, 19 there these are some great sites these are waterfront sites they they uh, cost I think a couple dollars more than the B loop uh, but they're well worth it and if you have a, a senior pass or an annual pass uh, you can get in for half price I think these spots here you can, you can get them for 12 bucks with uh, electric and water, no no sewer. But uh, here's the lake. All right, there we go. That's a good shot of the lake and the camp sites. The most desirable camp sites, of course, are out here on the point. This is sort of a point that jumps out into the lake. Across the way is a beach and swimming area, uh, which is accessed from the main road. Um, leads into the park but you have to drive out of the park to get to, to that section and then um, as we swing around here and view the lake all the way around and it goes way on up past you can't see all nearly all the lake there's also a little swimming area down here and a bunch more nice pull through these are all pull through sites a lot of big rigs come and park in this uh, section and fake me you know this is one these are the spots that are a little bit more difficult to reserve the ones out here on the point but there's always room uh, and, uh, so now we're we're heading back to uh, to my camper and um, we got to check on rotten bear make sure he's comfortable that boy does not like the heat. He does not like the heat. So I always carry a big old fan along with me. Keep his jets cooled off. And uh, he's very happy. As long as he's uh, laying in front of his fan on a warm day. Of course, he, he would love to take a dip in the lake if I let him. Uh, but then he's gonna smell like a wet dog for the rest of the day. <laughs> so I don't, I don't always let him do that. But anyway, this is it again, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Well, I'm here in the tent loop. Um, the, well, I guess this is our third day here now. You can see the lake there in the background, and there's old Rotten Bear. He just can't stand just standing around. He wants to put his nose to the ground. There's plenty of dogs around. He loves to, uh, to sniff around. Uh, where the other pups have been but that's what doggies do 
Uh, now behind me here, you can see one of the uh, really nice tent sites. It's right down here close to the lake and uh, it's nice and level. It's got a little wall around it and uh, it's, a, it's a pretty decent little spot. And uh, there's actually quite a few very nice ones uh, in the tent in the tent areas. There's another tent loop, and um, I I may show you that later on. It's um it's much newer, and the sites are big and level, well graveled. Uh, they have nice tent pads. Uh, of course, no no electric, and you have to tote your water because they have you know one or two of those water pickets so you can go you know get your water from but uh they're still they're pretty for tent spots are big very nice and not far from the water so it's a nice place to come tent camping and uh or you can park a camper van or something down in here i guess i don't think there's any laws against it i've seen people uh, uh stay down here in different things but it's a little bit this part here is kind of um a little bit hit hilly and a little bit windy but you wouldn't want to come down here in a large vehicle anyway it's a beautiful day ah uh, we've had a good morning uh been uh kind of messing around the campsite you know cleaning up and stuff we had a breakfast wonderful breakfast there's a place here in wilkesboro where they uh process uh chicken uh tyson's foods is is uh headquartered here and they process a lot of chicken they have a factory store we go in there when we come and we uh we'll get some uh some chicken and they've got some great bacon in there too so we came home after going to the outlet the factory store we came home with some fresh bacon put it on the frying pan outside and uh fix some waffles and man that was good had some uh had some homemade strawberry um well it wasn't preserved it was like runny preserves kind of like syrup more like syrup with whole strawberries you know cooked strawberries in delicious on top of them uh waffles now i like to put peanut butter on my waffles and then uh that strawberry kaiser's pulling on me kaiser come here I call him Kaiser. His name's Rotten Bear. <laughs> but he answers to whatever I call him. He, Kaiser is his, you better do this name. So uh, he's pretty good. When I tell him to do something, he listens pretty well. But anyway, back to breakfast. We cooked, fried that bacon outside. Put put on put that strawberry on them waffles and man that was good so then we cleaned up for a while i had to sweep and you know just tidy things up we like to keep the site clean and uh dump the uh, tank i've got 25 gallon holding tanks on my trailer and uh, usually after about the third fourth day i'll i'll take a tote and uh dump the tanks sometimes depending on how much water we use i'll dump, dump it a little sooner Kaiser's tugging on me, the old rotten bear. I better take him for a walk. I'll talk to you later. I said that Tyson was headquarters in North Wilkesboro. I may be wrong about that. Their processing plant is here, or one of their plants. I really don't know where the headquarters is. Oh, I wanted to tell y'all one thing while I'm down here in the woods, and they're beautiful woods, but anytime you're in the woods here in North Carolina, probably a lot of other states here on the east, east coast, we have what's known as poison ivy. There's poison ivy and there's poison oak, but the most common around here is the poison ivy. Let me show you to you and tell you about it. Right here on this tree is a little vine. Poison ivy is a vine. And you can see it, it stand, comes up the tree on a little root and it comes up it's got three leaves little clusters of three leaves and it will make you itch it's got like a shiny film and that's oil it's an oil that gets on you and it spreads the more you scratch the more it spreads and it's everywhere now you can see it right there some more you see that that's the poison ivy and now if mr rotten bear to get into it and i'm very careful when we walk not to let him get near it because if he gets it on him i'll pet him and then he gets it on me and i've had that mess for a long time oh baby oh you got shoestrings 
<laughs> you got shoestrings, baby. All right, we're gonna go for a, finish our little walk here in a minute. He's being such a good boy. There, here we're coming down to the lake. Yeah, there's some more of that poison ivy over there. I can't let him in it. All right, let's go down here a little closer to the water. People like to come down here and fish, even though it's kind of a bank right here. At this spot, there are a lot of places where you can get to the water quite easily. But it's just a beautiful place to come. No, 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 you ain't going down there. Get up here. Come on. Get up here. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I want to get in that water too. Yeah, that, I want to get in that water too. Well, the big boy with the black coat on has to stop every once in a while. I have to make him stop. Resting in the shade here for a few minutes till he catches his breath. Get out of the sun and enjoy the breeze. Always a breeze here. Sometimes it's worse than others. I remember we were camping here one time and the breeze almost took our awning off the front of our trailer. Uh, fortunately, uh, I was there and didn't leave the awning out while we were gone. Oh, he's getting a shoestring. <laughs> We're gonna have to find some water. Kaiser, you got a shoestring. <laughs> well, we made it back home. Um, it was a good trip, and we certainly enjoyed our time at Bandit's Roost. I'm glad you got to come along. Um, it wasn't long enough. It's never long enough. I think I could, I could RV full-time without any problem. Um, but I'm not alone in this world, and others depend on me. So, you know, take what I can get right now. Uh, I've got a lot of unpacking to do and just kind of regrouping because I'm going out again real soon. Uh, got a trip planned to the mountains next week, and uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, I'll, let you, I'll fill you in and uh, let you know when we get ready to go, but uh, it was a good time. I brought back a bunch of firewood. I didn't, I didn't use much. It was kind of warm, even in, even in the evenings. It was very warm, so I didn't. I didn't build no fire except once or twice. I did have a little uh, weenie roast. Couldn't, just don't feel like camping unless you're roasting some weenies. So we had a, had a good time and Rotten Bear sure loved it. Why wow, he's laying right next to the van again. I'll show you. He's, he stays right with the van when the camper's out cause he knows he's ready to go too. He had a good time. But he's glad to be home when he got home. Let me tell you, he stays he stays in the in the shop. It's a cement, a uh, large cement building where I used to do woodwork, but it's got a cement slab floor, and he loves to get flat out on that floor. Whenever he gets hot, he'll go in there. The floor is always cool, and he'll stretch out as flat as he can. And that's what he did when we got home yesterday. It was warm, so what did he do? He ran straight to the shop stretched out on the floor and cooled off. He's been very happy. 
and uh, came came out in the grass, just rolled in the grass. Uh, just he loves our backyard because it's got such long, uh, cool grass, and he, he rolled in it. He hadn't done that since since we left. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna kind of regroup, get uh, unpacked, and ready for the next one. I'm glad you came along, and uh, remember if. Uh, if you enjoyed the video at all, you know, please give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you will. And uh, we'll, we'll share our next little journey with you. For, so for Jurgen's Journeys, this is Jurgen signing off. <laughs> there he goes, going to the van. You poor boy. Are you ready to go again? Are you ready to go, the poor boy? <laughs> yeah. All right. We'll go again very soon.